Last year, I was asked by the First Minister, Carwyn Jones, to deliver real change in the South Wales Valleys. I therefore established a Valleys Tax Force. With two other ministers and expert advisors, we brought together a group of people to form this tax force. We spent six months talking and listening to the people who live and work in the valleys about what they want to see in their local communities now and in the future. It is these discussions that have helped shape our valleys, our future, and the priorities going forward. The people of the valleys told us that good quality jobs were needed, as well as the skills to do them. We also heard from businesses that they needed more support from us in order to grow and be able to offer employment and training to local people. We are looking to target investment to deliver high quality employment, sites and premises across the valleys. We also want to make sure that when procuring contracts, we get the most for the Welsh Pound. We heard that there are very good public services in the valleys, but they're not always as joined up as they could be. Affordable, frequent and accessible public transport was a key issue raised. We want to better serve the needs of local businesses and communities by taking full advantage of the development of the South Wales Metro and other transport developments to meet these needs. We want to make more of the Valley's natural environment, its culture and heritage, so that they are enjoyed more widely, both by local people and tourists. We want to improve personal well-being and new approaches to mental and physical health. We've agreed to develop the concept of a Valley's landscape park. We want to promote outdoor activities we have in the valleys for the valleys communities and beyond. The people of the valleys have helped identify what we need to focus upon and why. We'll continue to engage with those that have already been a part of this journey and we will invite others to join us.